Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Oh, I'm getting so tired. Um, <laughs> This is probably not the smartest idea. This is the seventh episode I made in this day. I mean, at the time this episode is being recorded, it is uh, April 16th. <clears throat> and it will probably be uploaded probably sometime in the first week of May, if not start at the second week. <laughs> Yeah, I really, I've made like the last, th I made the past 20 videos in like the past three days, so, oof, I'm really going at it with this. <laughs> I'm trying to get it all done within the spring break, so that way I have something to just upload and not do anything during regular working days. But anyway, yes, here we are. <clears throat> Karma? That's right. Manfred von Karma. He's the best prosecutor there is. He hasn't lost a case in his 40-year career. He's a god of prosecution, right? A god. Not a single case? He'll do anything to get a guilty verdict. Anything. Hmm. Sounds like someone else I know, Edgeworth. Hmm. <laughs> you don't understand. I mean he'll really do anything. Manfred von Karma is a man to be feared. That's quite a claim coming from someone who forges evidence. He taught me what it really means to prosecute. What? Just picture a prosecutor as vicious as me, multiplied by a factor of ten. Ugh. <clears throat> so, he was your teacher then, Mr. Edgeworth? <sighs> Something like that. And now he's trying to get you found guilty? <laughs> what a creep. Oh, wait. Maybe he's planning on losing on purpose to help you out. Not a chance. He hasn't lost once in 40 years. 40 years. He's as ruthless as me times 20. That's pretty ruthless. One second, guys. Sorry about that. Okay. Like I said, he's a god among prosecutors. I guess that's something like Mia was to me. Speaking of Mia... Uh, Maya? Uh-huh. We could really be using Mia's help right now, don't you think? Oh. Hm? I can't. Sorry, I tried. I really tried, but I couldn't reach her. You couldn't reach her? I think it's because I haven't been training. My powers are weak again. Oh man, what bad timing. I'm really sorry. I'll try my best. I hope so. What are you whispering about? Oh, uh, it's nothing. <clears throat> well, it's time. Let's head in. Manfred von Karma. Let's see what kind of guy he is. Forty years. He is a. He has to be an old man. Unless he started as a baby. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Miles Edgeworth. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Uh, Mr. Von Karma, is the prosecution ready? Fool. You seriously think that I would stand here were I not completely prepared? Right. My apologies. He's even got the judge scared. <clears throat> Very well. Your opening statement, please. Decisive evidence. A decisive witness. What else could possibly be required? Ah, uh, uh, nothing, of course. That should be fine. The prosecution may call its first witness. What's with this guy? Is he royalty or something? How am I supposed to fight against this? I call the detective in charge of this case. Detective Dick Gumshoe. Okay, Gumshoe's first. Let's see how this goes. Describe the incident. Now! Y yes sir. Except the gumshoe looks nervous. Uh, uh, please, uh, take a look at the map. <clears throat> the murder happened late Christmas Eve, uh, around midnight. There was one boat in the very middle of the lake. There were two men in the boat. Now, there happened to be a woman camping here on the edge of the lake. At 12.10, she heard two pistol shots. Then the boat started to move. 
It went towards the boat rental shop. Hmm. Testify to the court about the arrest. Now! W wait, M Mr. Von Karma. Yes? Actually, I'm the one that's supposed to be handling these proceedings. Wrong. There is only one thing you need to do here. You will slam down your gavel and say the word guilty. That is your role. Y yes, uh, of course. Y you're quite right. No, he's not. Yeah. D d d oh, boy. That's all I can say. Oh, boy. A, a man called into the station around 30 minutes after midnight. We headed to the scene of the crime as fast as we could. That's where we found Mr. Edgeworth. Now, I didn't suspect him of anything at all, but the next morning, a body was found in the lake. So, we had to arrest Mr. Edgeworth. Hmm, I see. Very well. Begin your cross-examination, attorney. Now! Oh, boy. Yes, Mr. Von Karma is a very demanding man with a very demanding presence. Did I mention demanding already? <laughs> A man called into the station around 30 minutes after midnight. You received a call from a man? Uh, uh, yep. But you said there was a woman camping there. She was the one who heard the two gunshots, right? That woman and the man who called in the report are two different people, obviously. Different people. There were two witnesses. Ugh. Their testimonies were quite similar, however. Today, I've summoned the woman who was camping. The woman who was camping? Not a heart. What happened next, detective? We headed to the scene of the crime as fast as we could. How long was it between receiving the report and your arrival at the lake? Uh, well, I'd say it was about three minutes. That's pretty fast. Our model for the month is to get there quick. Detective, you will refrain from casually revealing department secrets. D yes, sir. Sorry, sir. I look forward to your next year's salary review. Oh, so much to look forward to these days. There is no time for dejected daydreaming. Continue. D yes, sir. That's, that's when we found Mr. Edgeworth. Oh dear. What was Mr. Edgeworth like when you saw him then? Well, from what I saw, he looked pretty relaxed. Not like a murderer at all, really. Detective, the court requires the facts, not your opinion. How many years have you been on the force? Facts only, detective. Hard, cold, objective facts. Y yes, sir. Man, he's got his share of objections. Now, I didn't suspect him of anything at all. Why didn't you think he was suspicious? You should know. We have a deep trusting relationship with the prosecutors. Detective, the court isn't interested in your musings. Deep trusting. Ha! Poppycock. I've never heard so many flippant comments from an active detective on the force. <sighs> Man, Detective Gumshoe doesn't look so good. Continue. Now. But the next morning there was a body found at the lake. Did you find any clues on the body? A single bullet was recovered from the body. It was shot straight through the heart. Finally. Judge, here is the bullet. It didn't strike bone, so its shape is well preserved. Very well. The court accepts this bullet into evidence. <clears throat> so, we had to arrest Mr. Edgeworth. W why is that? Well, we found the murder weapon in the boat. The murder weapon? A, a pistol. Detective Gumshoe. That is a vital piece of information. Please revise your testimony. Right, so, sorry, Your Honor. The murder weapon we found in the boat was decisive evidence. 
What about the pistol made it decisive evidence? Yeah, <laughs> it's the same evil laugh as Edgeworth. There were fingerprints on the pistol found in the boat. They were clear prints from Mr. Edgeworth's right hand. Uh, what? Order. Order. So Mr. Edgeworth's fingerprints were found on the murder weapon. Y yes, Your Honor. <laughs> Judge, this is the weapon in question. Uh, accept it into evidence. Members of the court, we now have the pistol used in the murder and the bullet found in the body. Detective. Y yes, sir. Was the bullet found in the body fired from this pistol? Y yes, the ballistic markings on the bullet matched the pistol. Hmm. Hey, Nick, what does he mean by ballistic markings? Tch, shocking. You imagine someone here does not know something as basic as ballistic markings. Nick, he's glaring at me. Very well, I'll explain. Actually, Judge, you do it. Eh? But me? <clears throat> <clears throat> well, ballistic markings are like the fingerprints of a gun. The barrel leaves distinctive marks on each bullet it fires. You can examine these ballistic fingerprints to see which gun fired the shot. It's quite accurate. Indeed. This leads to one inevitable conclusion. The bullet found in the victim's heart was without a doubt fired from this pistol. This pistol, which, as you may recall, was covered with the defendant's own fingerprints. Uh, order! Order! Oh god, this is bad. This makes it look like Edgeworth did it. Well, Judge? I'd say it's almost decisive, yes. Honestly, I could declare a verdict at this point. However... You wish to hear the witness speak, no doubt. Very well. I am somewhat fatigued, and so I will take a brief break. I will call my witness after the recess, which will last ten minutes. Judge! Yes? What are you doing? A ten minute recess! Now! B but wait, I... Just bang your flimsy gavel and get on with it, man! Y yes! <clears throat> this court will take a ten minute recess. Who the heck is running this court anyway? Oh boy, yes. <laughs> We're only like 13 minutes into the case, and yeah. <laughs> Edgeworth, what's going on here? Your fingerprints were on the murder weapon. Uh. And that foggy photo makes one thing clear. The only one who could have shot that man was the person in the photo. True. Was that you in the boat? Yes, it was me. What? But you must believe me, I didn't shoot him. Then who did? I don't know. You don't know? But weren't you right there? I heard a gunshot from very close by. Then the other man fell from the boat. I can't say why, but I thought at the time that he had shot himself. You mean it was a suicide? That's the only explanation that I can come up with. <sighs> How am I going to convince anyone of that? Say, Maya. Huh? What? Any progress for Mia? Oh, sorry, it's no good. <sighs> I know. I'm no good for anything, am I, Nick? If I can't call my sister, I might as well not be here, right? Oh no, I need you here. If anything, for moral support. Please, for moral support. <laughs> yeah, you're useless. Whoever says, yeah, you're useless is really, really heartless. No, of course not. I need you here. I can see you are always trying to help out. Even if you don't actually help, it's, it's the thought that counts, right? It's okay, Nick. You don't have to make me feel better. I don't know anything about trials or, or defense. What's more, I'm a spirit medium who can't even contact spirits. Oh, everyone has their off days. I mean, I've just been getting lucky lately. But you never know when my luck's gonna run out. Really? Whoa! 
Right. Don't jinx this case any more than it already is. It's bad for my heart. Oh, oh, sorry. Whoops. Um, you know what? I will actually continue on. No, yes. No, I will call in it. <laughs> I can't make up my mind. I will call an end to this video here, because I'm, uh... Mm, I will continue on later, obviously. Uh, I don't know if I want to keep on going now, or just save the game and do it later, because it's already like 10.55 at night. I mean, it's vacation, so no one's asleep yet until like 12, but still, you, you get what I'm saying. Yeah, um... But you know what, whatever. I'll just call it into this video, give me a few minutes to figure it out, and then... Yeah, we'll continue on. I'll, I'll see you guys in a moment. Oh, for you guys a moment. For me, it could be tomorrow. Later.